This Mother's Day focusing on the future in today's Keller at Large. A look at the biggest challenges facing our city and our state. Here's John Keller. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You know, 2018 has special meaning for all of us here at WBZ. We're marking 70 years of reporting on this community. And in the weeks leading up to the 70th anniversary of our first broadcast, we're airing a series of special reports looking back at what's changed here over the years in politics, education, transportation, and so on. If you missed my look back at 70 years of local politics this past Friday night, please go to CBSBoston.com and check it out. This morning, we're following up on that report with a look at the future challenges that remain despite all the progress we've made. And here to help us do that are two veteran observers of local politics and policy, former House Speaker Tom Finneran. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, John. And Darnell Williams, president of the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. Darnell, welcome to you. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. So we were talking before we started rolling yeah. here, and we agree we've come a long, long way. Uh, but uh, we have a long ways to go. And let me start with you, Darnell. When you think of the unaccomplished public policy missions uh, in our city, in our state, what comes to the top of mind? I think the biggest issue that we need to deal with, wrestle with, and come to terms with is the level of racism that still exists today within our city, within our state, and our nation. That we are at the table talking past one another. We provide judgment versus opportunities where we're really not getting to know the person or what they can add value to our end product. So if we can fix that issue in our lifetime, that will be a real significant accomplishment. you agree with that, Tom? Not entirely. I look ahead 70 years almost. I would characterize that as just short of three generations. Yeah. Three more generations. Well, let's look back to three generations to 1948, okay? Terribly racist city at the time, uh, very segregated. Uh, se segregated, not just black, white. Segregated. The Irish were here, the Italians were here. Here was a Polish section. Here was another Greek section over here. Much, much more integration racially and by ethnic and cultural uh, differences. All of that, I think, is, is remarkable what has happened. Yet Donnell makes a very good point. You have income inequality, you have educational disparities that are still very, very troubling. I think the challenge will be in each of those areas. Economic opportunity, legitimate economic opportunity for more people, and uh, trying to find a way to close and uh, e effectively erase that educational outcome disparity. As far as I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to no, interrupt No, I just want to say, I think this is why this is so important when we have this discussion. When I look at folks who live in Mattapan who've never been to the North End, or folks who live in the North End, never been to Roxbury or Dorchester, you have to go out of your way to end up in Brighton or Alston. So we live in these pockets and these economics. So I have poverty over here and I have abject wealth over here. So when I say that racism and how that it plays itself out in our everyday life, we have that enormous challenge that should not be negated because of the, the, the progress that we've made. But that is also a reality that we have to live with. And we'll continue our conversation about the next 70 years, if you will. How are we going to get to where we want to go? And we'll do that when we continue in a moment. Stay with us.